What happened last night at Oracle Arena was simply unprecedented, and the fallout continues. It sure does, Sage. We start with breaking news here on Sports Center. The NBA's ban the fan who shoved the Raptors guard Kyle Lowry last night for one year and fined him a half a million dollars. That fan turns out to be Warriors investor Mark Stevens. The incident occurred early in the fourth quarter of Game 3. Here's the video featuring Lowry trying to save a loose ball. As Lowry tries to get up, two seats over, he gets shoved on the left shoulder by Stevens. Lowry claims Stevens cursed at him several times. We found out this morning that Stevens is a part of a six-member Warriors executive board. And before the NBA ban this afternoon, the Warriors had suspended Stevens from all team activities. Mark Schwartz in Oakland has more on what exactly Stevens said to Lowry after shoving him. Kyle Lowry says that Warriors investor Mark Stevens not only shoved him, but told him multiple times to, quote, blank himself. I mean, I was furious. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty upset, and uh, Mark Gasol and kind of came up to me, look, you know, kind of, come on, we need you kind of come back, you know, kind of, you know, they'll handle it. And, and um, Freddie and, and Kawhi and those guys, Danny, kind of, you know, like, don't try to come back here. We need you. These fans are coming out, watching the game. You know, they feel like they're on their team, and, they're, they're competitive as well, probably a little bit under their, um, you know, the influence and, you know, things things like that happen, you know. Uh, we've seen, this ain't the first time we've seen something like that. There's no room for the, our, in our game um, for that. Um, you know, in that situation, you know, I don't think I've, I, I could have handled it any better. Um, you know, I, I'm glad I did what I did and um, understanding that, you know, Things could have been a lot different if I reacted a, a different way. Lowry says he was appalled to learn that it was Mark Stevens, a venture capitalist and billionaire investor in the Warriors, who was his assailant. I, I mean, I knew it would be a big deal, but I didn't know it would be as big of a deal of him as him being a, a, a part of the, the group that, you know, writes the checks. And that, that makes it even more of a, a, a place where he should know. I don't necessarily think it was a reflection of how we handle you know, business here. We, you know, as a Warriors organization and franchise, we, we had, you know, have a high standard and, and do things with class and professionalism. Um, and I know Mark is apologetic and, and whatnot, but we'll handle that situation. Of the, like I said, the organization is going to do that. I don't care who he is. It doesn't matter if he had a billion dollars or zero dollars. You don't. There's no room for that. A guy like that shouldn't be a part of a. Shouldn't be a part of our league. Uh, being honest with you, that's my personal opinion. That's just how I feel. If the NBA doesn't figure it out. I think the players' association may take it into their own hands, or you know our team. Who knows? We might uh, get a petition so you can pay the fines and pay us. <laughs> Lowry says he hasn't heard from Stevens, nor does he have any interest in hearing from him. It could have gone the other way, he explained, but I'm bigger than him as a person, and my kids are more important to me than he is. In Oakland, I'm Mark Schwartz, ESPN. The Warriors issued a statement before the one-year NBA ban this afternoon saying, quote, Mr. Stevens' behavior last night did not reflect the high standards that we hope to exemplify as an organization. We're extremely disappointed in his actions and along with Mr. Stevens offer our sincere apology to Kyle Lowry and the Toronto Raptors organization for this unfortunate misconduct. There is no place for such interaction between fans or anyone and players at an NBA game. Sage has much more reaction from Oakland. Sage? Hey, Kevin. Yes, joined now by Brian Windhorst. And Brian, we've been talking all day about this. The first thing that stood out to me is that it didn't take any time for the Golden State Warriors to react, and then the league took it to another, another level. What's your reaction to all yeah, of this? Yeah, less than 24 hours. They acted swiftly. I think LeBron James, who spoke on this on Instagram today, he hasn't really commented at all. He said, what would you feel if it was the inverse, if Kyle Lowry had made contact with a Warriors team owner? What would happen to Kyle Lowry? And I don't think anything could be said that's more appropriate than the way LeBron put it. So they did, and they acted right away. 
I do think it's appropriate. I know that some people want him never to be seen again, but I do think because this was a heat of the moment thing that that was taken into account, but he also was fined harsher than a normal fan would have been because sure. he got the fine as well because he is attached to the organization. Um, I, d I definitely think that the NBA has led the league, led the way here in, in, in uh, you know, coming down with, with fan behavior. This is something that's been getting a little bit worse recently. We saw a fan in Utah earlier this year, yep. you know, get involved with Russell Westbrook, who was banned for life. So what I really appreciate is the NBA acted so quickly.